What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are jumping back into standard with a uh, a little bit of an interesting mono red take. So um, obviously if you've played any amount of standard you've probably seen Calamity decks running rampant, uh, especially on the best of one ladder because they're very quick to win. Uh, this is kind of taking that just a slight step further and what we're going to be testing out today is is this just as fast or faster or slower depending on how how things play out so we're trying this out but raid bombardment very similar to calamity enchantment for two and a red so it does cost one more but whenever a creature you control with power two or less attacks not one or less uh raid bombardment deals one damage to target player or planeswalker that creature is attacking so this essentially is a higher threshold calamity uh which does allow us to deal a little bit of extra damage with a lot stronger creatures which is awesome so uh, most of the deck, as you'll notice, is very similar to a standard mono red list. We've got the Fervent Champions, we've got Robber of the Rich, uh, Bone Crusher Giant as a phenomenal include. We've got a couple Anax, uh, Hardened in the Forge here. Fantastic card, absolutely great. Uh, three Torbrand to, to really, really maximize damage, and then of course three Ember Cleave uh, to help finish off the game. Uh, one of the newer cards that we've seen a good bit of is Bolt Town, so it's a 2-2 for three with haste, uh, but... Whenever it attacks, other creatures get plus one, plus zero until the end of the turn. So you can really, really buff up your team with that, uh, assuming you've been able to go wide. Uh, to help us do that, we have Forbidden Friendship. Uh, so it's a sorcery for two. Create a 1-1 one, one red dinosaur with haste and a 1-1 one, one human creature soldier. Uh, human soldier creature uh, token. Uh, so it's kind of a nice little two for one on turn two to help buff up that bull town. Uh, and then 10 Street Cadet. Uh, which is interesting. So it's a goblin. So for one uh, red mana, you get a 1-1 one, one that whenever it becomes blocked, uh, creates a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token as well. Uh, this in tandem with things like Bone Crusher Giant or even uh, Ember Cleave is really, really nice. Uh, I like it quite a bit. So we're going to see if we can make this work. Uh, in terms of lands, uh, we are running 23. We've got one Dwarven Mine here, which is kind of interesting, but also four Castle Embrith to really buff up the team. So that's it. Pretty straightforward deck. Uh, we're going to be testing out that raid bombardment. Hopefully it's good, uh, but we'll obviously see as we go through. So looking forward to uh, to testing this one out. Uh, I really do like mono red decks on the best of one ladder for obvious reasons. Uh, they're fast and they're really good at winning quickly. Uh, and so um, hopefully, hopefully we will get at least a couple wins here. Um, but the, the obvious question, is this as good as, as the other mono red decks? Sorry, by the way, my desk is a bit um, cluttered, uh, if I could, if, to say the least. Um, I'm actually filling out proxies uh, for the Patreon stuff, because uh, we're going to be sending out very, very soon. Uh, and I actually wanted to talk about that. This is a great start, by the way, the double fervent champion. Oh, such a good start. Um, I want to talk about Patreon a little bit today. Um, and no, I'm not. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and no, I'm not just going to be like, hey, go sign up for Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to, the link's down below, but that's up to you. Um, one thing that I think is really important to note about our Patreon, we never want anybody to sign up for Patreon if they are unable to do so financially. Um, I, I know that kind of should go without saying, but I fully understand that sometimes that's not the case. Uh, and so I just want to make sure that you know, we're, we're being as safe and uh, as as transparent as we possibly can with that because uh, also I know one of our guys is going to die. It's fine. Um, because I just want to make sure that we're not putting anybody in a position where they feel like they either one, have to support us or two, um, are in a position where it's just not feasible to do so. Uh, and therefore they seem to get, you know, kind of upset about that. So I just want to make sure that that's very clear. Um, but... This is super nice. Um, get to trigger off of each other. Everything gets a little buff. They get to kill this, I suppose. Ooh, or not. Um, well, that was nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, um, we've we been very fortunate lately. We've gotten a lot of, of great support on our Patreon recently, uh, which obviously means a lot to us because that's not, you know, that's pretty that's pretty awesome uh is all i can say that's a lot of support for us we're a small channel we are not you know the big the big uh crazy oh nice that was a quick one uh we're not the Telerian academies of the world we're we're just a small little channel and like 
to to get the support from you guys um, in that fashion is amazing. Uh, it just shows us that you know we're on the right track and we're doing the right stuff, um, and hopefully that continues. But uh, I also wanted to talk about like proxies and stuff a little bit because obviously proxies can be a bit of a touchy subject, uh, and I fully understand we do not want to take rights from artists or anything like that, uh, which is why we're giving them away on Patreon. That's kind of the way we set that up because we're not going to sell stuff that is not ours. Uh, that is off the table for us. It's not going to happen. We did talk about it. Uh, we thought, you know, is there a way legally that this is doable? And I, I very firmly believe that that is incorrect. Um, but I also believe very firmly in providing something physical for you guys uh, who are supporting us on a monetary basis because you know, it's great to say yeah I'll put out another video uh, or you know, I'll give you guys an exclusive video and that's fine I mean ideally that would be great um, And I'd love to do more of that But time wise I'm doing about all I can already uh, realistically uh, full-time job Wedding to plan all that kind of stuff. So it's not gonna be easy uh, to just say yeah, I'll spit out another video um, so instead, I think it makes a lot more sense to, to do kind of what we're doing, which is, uh, to give something away, uh, as a bit of a, you know, a show of good faith. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are getting something back. Uh, and so that's where we decided to use the proxies. Cause I do think that, um, you know, they're, they're fun. They're cool to make. Uh, they're super fun to make and like, seems like you guys enjoy them. So it seems like a great way to do that. Um. Also, we are in a bit of trouble here, uh, to be honest. Um, we are going to do this. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit... Uh, it's, it's just really phenomenal to see all of you guys supporting what we do and really, really being a part of the community. Uh, and so I just want to heavily thank all of you uh, for doing that. Um, but also... Um, you know, the proxies and stuff like that, we're we're getting more and more of them out there. Um, for those of you who haven't seen our, our Instagram giveaway, we've still got it going on. Uh, there is a small giveaway there for Primo Print, who is actually the, the group that, um, that prints our proxies for us. Uh, they are a super awesome group of people. Really, really great. Um, and we're very thankful to have them on our team and, and work with them because they truly are a great group. Uh, and so we've, uh, we've, we've made some strides to better those as we've gone along in the proxies themselves and, and that kind of thing. And so I hope that you guys are enjoying them. Actually, uh, I recently bought a little sketch pad, um, like Wacom tablet kind of thing for those of you who know. Um, and it's really, really fun because it allows you to get it like a one pixel brush, really zoom in and literally just like draw and color onto the proxy. Uh, and so you can get or, or the art and so you can get a little bit more detailed in doing uh, some really awesome stuff there And I'm I'm very happy to say that it's uh, it's turning out pretty well. I'm liking it a lot We'll see what they do uh, I mean we're we're gonna ember cleave it It's about the best thing we can do at the moment um but yeah, so just a lot of awesome stuff happening. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Um, I can't tell you that enough. Uh, it's been really awesome to have all of you guys there. Um, hmm. Well, this is going to be terrible. Uh, the Banishing Light comes back. They get to steal that Torbram. Um, that's pretty good. I think we're gonna lose this one. <laughs> they've got quite a bit of life gain, which is making it a little tricky. Uh, let's throw this out there. Throw this out there. Um, yeah, it's about the best we can do. I yeah, these tripled up as well, which was not good. Uh, two, yeah, we're we're dead. And they're just gaining tons and tons of life. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, they got us. Um, anyway, all that to say, it's been a very awesome pleasure seeing everybody joining our Patreon. I hope that you guys are enjoying the proxies. They, For those of you who have joined this month, they send out at the end of the, every month. Um, 
That's why we're getting them ready now because August 31st is our send date. Uh, so we should be able to get those out to you pretty soon. But uh, just wanted to give you a heads up. I've had a few questions about that. Um, and so that's where we're at. Uh, also, last game. Uh, we're one and one at the moment. Um, but yeah, you guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. Also, we had our first mate meeting with the JDC last night um, for the participants to kind of get some things down. Uh, the first category, so we're, we're doing theme weeks. Initially, we were going to do just random stuff every week. Um, and I think that that would be fun, and we might try and throw that in in later seasons. But uh, for this first season, I thought it would be really cool to do theme weeks, and everybody else seemed to agree. Uh, and so what we're doing is each week we will be announcing a theme prior to, you know, the play of that following week. So uh, for the first week, we're actually looking at just big enchantments. That is the first week's theme. Uh, and we're taking everybody's suggestions. So y'all will be able to, y'all, how Southern can I sound? You all will be able to submit ideas uh, for cards to us. And then we'll pick eight of those. Uh, eight seemed to be like a decent number. Um, eight's gonna be, so we'll pick eight of those things. We'll actually throw all those into a little overlay. And then essentially what we're gonna do is rotate draft, uh, the card that we're gonna be using for that week. Um, so, uh, that's actually fine. Let's just do this. Uh, they just got mana screwed, that's all. Um, so, uh, you know, we might start off and I might be the first drafter for week one, and then I'll be the last drafter for week two, third drafter for week three, and then f uh, second drafter for week four. So it's going to kind of rotate in that order. There's four of us. Uh, and it's going to be a really awesome time. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, so if you would like to suggest stuff, you certainly can. Uh, all that to say, we just very quickly won our third match. Uh, we are at 12 minutes. Um, but... Really do appreciate you guys watching. I like this deck. I apologize we didn't talk a ton about it as we went through. We'll do that more in the second video, but just wanted to get some things out there for you guys. Uh, and again, thank you so much for the support lately. It really does mean a lot. Um, it's it's a pleasure to be able to do this kind of stuff. Um, and the, the Patreon in particular, but also just everybody viewing, uh, keeps us going and keeps it moving forward. We couldn't do it without that. Uh, we really couldn't. Um, so thank you. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, with that, I'm going to jump out of here. We'll jump into the video, too, very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.